Mr. Khalid, how are you, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm very, very good, man. First of all, of course, uh, I would like to give you the beautiful greetings. Of course, it's the time of uh, Ramadan, so Ramadan Kareem and Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam, brother. Um, I'm really you, feel thanks. glad. I don't have words because, you know, you are the first. It's uh, my pleasure, brother. It's my first pleasure. first uh, local Emirati uh, in my podcast. It's my pleasure, brother. Right. So, um, Khalid, uh, of course, I know you from the long time, yeah. from the time of good life, 2017. 2017, 16, 17, yeah, the <laughs> end of 16, I think, yeah. So, yeah. It's really, uh, it's, uh, the time is running, yeah. My goodness. 2024 literally. now. Of course. We're getting older also. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time is, time is money, bro. Yeah, really, really fast, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, of course, for my viewers, uh, if you want to give a little bit beautiful uh, signature introductions of yours, please. So, yeah. Uh, my name is Khaled Al Ali. They know me like a Khaled freestyle because of things what I do with the ball. Uh, I born in 1993. This is my country. I born in Dubai for sure. And yeah, this is a shortcut. Now, Mr. Khalid. So as I know you, uh, of course, from the good life, uh, you are in the culture from the long time in terms of sneaker cultures, right? So uh, from 2017 till today's date. What is the difference between the sneaker cultures? What did you find the difference? Uh, see, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm a sneaker head since long time, since I was kids, like let's say 2008, I start to collect the football boots and because I play football a lot. And so I start to collect the football boot, the old Nike with the 90 logo, the old Adidas, the OGs, and even not about sneakers, also the jerseys of the footballers. Uh, I have a uh, jersey since 2006, 2005. So when it's come, when it's, uh, it's come to the sneakers, so I collected since long time. And after that, in let's say in 2012, 13, 14, uh, it was hard to find the unique sneakers, especially in UAE. We should order it online uh, through the website, and even the website is not easier like now. Before it's even harder. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. So we was ordering online and. Even um, there's no a lot of uh, retail stores and um, and few resellers in UAE. So even you have a, you have to have a connection outside the country, or you have to travel by yourself to get it uh, to get the sneakers uh, from the the countries that they release the sneakers over there. So let's say from 2017, even it was a little bit hard because still the retail shop it's not that huge like like now and the stocks is limited uh, mm -hmm. they don't do a lot of restock in UAE but nowadays uh, to be honest uh, a lot of resellers a lot of uh, retail shops so it's still hard to get the unique shoes but it's easier than before easier it's than before. much easier than before and uh, with the social media it's growing up a lot of people see the pictures through the social media so they can find it easily, but they have to find the legit one. Huh? A lot of, <laughs> a lot of not, not legit shoes in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I come to know. I mean, the, when I was work, of course, in the good life, and it's still in the SBD also, uh, there are some, of course, you know, uh, the people, not only the locals, some also other people come to the stores and they just want me to check the legit check. I said, look, I'm not authorized to do the legit check, but when I see the shoes, I come to know, man. Uh, come man on. The, the problem is, um, sorry to say that, but some influencers. Uh, they broadcast or they post in snapchat uh, with them maybe they don't know i will not say that they know i don't know but um, sometimes they post about the shoes that it's not legit from i don't know which which kind of website and they just send them uh, through like some boxes of yeezys sbs mm. whatever dunks like the dunks is hype now and uh, they just uh, snap it or instagram it to the people and they have a lot of followers and the people get on the website and they order and the price is high but the shoes is sorry it's yeah. not legit and this is true story it's happened to the people of course of yeah, course yeah people get scammed a lot exactly of times, man, exactly right? exactly brother yeah and then um i would like to ask the what's your first first sneakers what you got in your uh, as i mentioned before is let's say in 2007 8 uh, or maybe 2006 in the world cup it was in uh, germany 2006 okay. and yeah they, they the footballers wear a lot of adidas and nike shoes in this time and i start to collect it from from this time uh, i think the first thing is a football uh, football uh, studs uh, shoes oh, okay. but after yeah for sure uh, i started with the 
all the Nikes, like uh, some kind of Jordans and the, uh, sorry, Jordan and Yeezys. And uh, my favorite is SBs. I SBs, like the yeah. SBs, yeah, because I like the streetwear and I think the SBs fit the streetwear, the baggy things. Of course. So the first shoes, as I remember, is the football uh, football shoes. Uh, yeah. Even it's futsal or uh, studs since the old uh, collection of Nikes. Okay. And normally I saw you in the social media playing with the footballs in different ways. What kind of game is that though? So it looks like a little bit table tennis so, also. So, so, so I, I have different kind of games for sure. I start with the street soccer. I, I born with the neighborhood that play the street soccer a lot. And this is what I wear, where, where I learn the football. And after that, I go to futsal, I train with coach, some coach and yeah. Uh, I like to play five aside a lot, and after that, I find myself uh, uh, in in the as you say the uh, it's it's called tech ball, tech ball. Tech okay. ball. Mm. Before tech ball, for sure, I, I play even foot volley. Uh, the foot volley it's open for me a lot of doors to uh, play the another games because foot volley is like Brazilian game. It's all about the control of the ball. You play two by two. It's like a volleyball, but you play it with the leg and chest and shoulder and head. And I play with uh, a lot of people. They teach me a lot. Uh, I'm really thankful for these people, uh, for these people, those people that they teach me these kind of games. So from foot volley, as I say, it's open for me the door because these games uh, teach me how to move. The, the teach me the technical things. So. I find the chance in 2017 or 18, somebody contact me that you want to represent a UAE in foot tennis uh, uh, World Cup. It will gonna be in Santiago, Chile, and and I find myself that this is the chance. So I went to Santiago, Chile, and I played the foot tennis. Foot tennis is uh, similar to, uh, to foot volley, but a small net, not a high net, small net, and again two by two. And again, you have to control the ball. You play it with your leg and chest. See, the control I have it since before because I do freestyle since 2008, 2009, like this. So the control is in my leg, but the technical things uh, I learned from foot volley. Yeah, yeah. And it's open for me a lot of opportunities. And mm. yeah, after the foot tennis, the tech ball come to me and I start to play tech ball. And tech ball is the curved table. It's like a ping pong. Okay. Like a table tennis, but you play it with again with your leg, uh, without hand. In, in without my sport, and my sport, um, I will not say that I, I'm bad in hand. <laughs> I, 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 okay, I, I, now I play like volleyball and stuff, but I'm not like uh, like in my. I love to play with my leg more mm -hmm. because I love football. So yeah, uh, take ball, and after that, uh, bad ball is opening. Uh, like it's open in UAE, like in in Corona and COVID time. Mm -hmm. And even I represent UAE in this game, paddle, even again, it's like a foot tennis, but it's more to paddle. Okay. Paddle, squash and volleyball. So it's closed cage, as you see, mm -hmm. you play, you play even with the glass or with your partner. And I played the World Cup, uh, like um, just now I came from World Cup, like two months ago or three months. Uh, I played it in Brazil in oh, Santos. Wow and was a great great experience the, the picture what i seen sorry i just interrupt you the picture what i seen in your uh, instagram uh, social media that's in the brazil where you get the signature of uh, ronaldinho no no I ronaldinho guess. he, he, was he used to come to so i want to say hi to the afc academy dubai foot volley and for sure where i start in the beginning uae foot volley the guys that helped me to develop my skills and develop uh, the things with the football and the game what i love so yeah I will thank all the guys uh, that's helped me. So yeah, it was an AFC Academy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I work with them also for tech ball over there and even with the football and the things. So AFC Academy, it start like, uh, let's say in, uh, we, we start in Sheraton first in a small place. And after that, we get a big space in Hilton, Hilton Hotel and well, they build their academy. And I was part of it with them. and. It's getting huge and a lot of footballers come to this academy because there is a facility that they like to do over there with the, with the ball, like a foot volley and uh, the tech ball and nice view. It's in GBR near the nice. Dubai Eye and uh, Blue Water Island. So Ronaldinho, he used to come like uh, every two months, three months, like two days, uh, three days like this. Or sometimes he came like uh, in one week, three times, four times. 
So even Edgar Davids, he come a lot. Oh, wow. One of the legend of football. I love Netherlands for sure. One of the <laughs> Netherlands legend. And, yeah. And even, uh, yeah, Edgar, Edgar, even in more in freestyle, uh, he, he understand freestyle very well because he have one company for freestyle. It's called Monta Soccer. And he start his, uh, if you go to YouTube and uh, write the street soccer uh, legends or street soccer in Netherlands, you will see one episode for Edgar Davids. He travel around the world and he plays street soccer against the people. It was in 2010. 2010. Uh, it's it's uh, really, really unique and crazy. So yeah, this is how uh, I meet Ronaldinho and, and, and the academy. Mm. In the academy by by looking at you i feel like that you know uh every uh, person not only the guy even the girls should at least play one sports for the fitness also it's really for helped sure, yeah, guys, it's, right? uh, for me anyone i met or any 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 friends i sat with them and I, I i i always told them that you have to have one sport to play for your health uh for sure uh, even if you don't want to play some sports you have to walk at least 30 minutes a day you have to move your body otherwise uh, if you sit and eat it's not good for the health you have to have for me sport is a lifestyle this is the thing sport completely, is a lifestyle completely and if you have one game to play it you make it even as a lifestyle for yourself mm, i tried on uh, mr khaled i tried a lot so what happened there is no consistency for me. I think mm. you are teasing you. When you Man, some, some people is busy with work and they have a pressure from, you know, yeah. uh, from family or something like that. Uh, this is life, but you have to have a small time for yourself. Of course. 30 minutes, one hour, jogging, walking, gym, uh, bodybuilding, calisthenic, football, anything, anything, basketball. Volleyball. And, you know, Dubai, they have all the facilities for, or even UAE, let's say UAE, they have all the facilities uh, for these kind of things, yeah, you have, yeah, any 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 place you have a public park, you have a free things to enjoy and play, and you know. I used to I used to do it, but uh, when I again you know so I'm like driving my sorry the license I started at mm -hmm. the time again I stopped it. Yeah. I as you said you know so I'm like I used to go in the parking, do the round. Do yeah, a bit yeah, more. a lot of parks here in Insha UAE. Inshallah, I will, I, I will. Inshallah, I will again. So even continue. you don't have to pay for it. They yeah, do it. <laughs> they do it. Yeah, you know UAE. They always looking. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we are in the best country for sure. It's my country, the best country Dubai, to live. Dubai, uh, you UAE. Know? Not only Dubai, Dubai UAE, correct. Dubai, mm -hmm. UAE. Mm -hmm. All the cities in UAE, alhamdulillah, we have a safety and we have the things that they offer the people to do the sport, to do whatever that we need and it's for free. Of course, it's for free. Public. Of yep. For me, of course, every time uh, whoever I'm talking with, you know, some like I always say that, you know, Dubai is my second home because I already hear some like 11 years running right now. You know, it's a really, I, I own a lot of things. I, I get a lot of things from Dubai. Some like you. Yeah, thanks you know, for that. That's, that's really Pleasure. great, right? So, uh, back to the game. So, uh, can I say you, are you the sneakerhead or something like you are hype based? Yeah, yeah, I love to have this unique sneakers. I told you since long time. And I have a good collection uh, in, my, in my room. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I always like to have the unique sneakers. Yeah. I always uh, like to find the sneakers that let, I will not say nobody have, but uh, it's hard to find in UAE. Exclusive, and even yeah. let's say exclusive for mm -hmm. sure. Let's say if there is a sneaker in one country that not released in my country, even I, I try my best to get it from through the connection through my friends. So I love these kind of things. And maybe one of my stories uh, about the Habibi Dunk. Oh, really? Habibi Dunk, the SBs that. Uh, it's released by frame and uh, the guys they made it in uae the mm -hmm. collab they do with the nike sb one of the best so, that one yeah this is one of the best mm -hmm. it was my dream sneaker because uh, when it's released i don't get the chance to take it from frame and it was hard and something happened like uh, i cannot get it so i have a uh, like uh, pictures in my room I fixed it in my wall okay. with the sneaker. Uh, the, uh, the picture shows the sneaker, and even I have one uh, uh, carpet, even with the sneakers handmade. So I say this is my my dream shoes. I will get because you know the the prices goes of course super up, and this release only I think in UAE. I'm not sure about it, but I think it's only release in UAE. I uh, think so too because I'm not the big even fan me. I'm not, I'm not sure about it, but I think it's release here and. Uh, 
all eyes was in dubai they want to get the sneakers especially the sneaker head from us from uk from outside the country so and after that i heard there's a special box for these oh, wow. it's released with the shoes mm -hmm. and uh, it's a frame frame special box and after that there's more special box that it's really hard to get it oh, wow. it's the dubai uh, future museum box that they give it for the stuff mm -hmm. and it's only 50 bucks so what's this is the story i get the shoes uh like let's say one year ago or one year and a half so when i get the shoes now it's like you search for the gold you want to get the special box i i want to do that so mm. I, I i told you before i like to get the unique things mm. so it was like a challenge for me to get the dubai uh, future museum box and it came with the two batch with oh. the the Dubai Future I think Dubai Future Museum batch and the other batch is uh, like uh, it's written frame or something mm -hmm. so and the box is written like something in Arabic special mm -hmm. so it's a special written in Arabic so it was a challenge for me I was texting the the guys uh, going online check about the box and I get the reply after three months after, after three, three months after, i was searching for three months I, and even i take the shoes with me mm -hmm. and i go to frame shop i tell for the guys and there i meet majid, <laughs> okay. I majid, say hi, <laughs> majid. so i tell him listen brother i have these shoes and i need the special box i need the the it, not the special box. i need the edition of the dubai frame uh, dubai future museum what you said the 50 box the 50 box yeah okay. that's what i know so he said, Saba, let me see, let me see, because some of people here, they get it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I said, no worries, I will wait. And I, I just send in the group, WhatsApp for my friends, for the guys that sneakerhead in UAE. And after uh, three months, I get the reply. Listen, there's one guy, he have the box and he want to travel and he want to sell it. So I said, Damn. this is the thing. I, I, know the, like, I know the guy actually, I, but I will, I will not mention in the podcast. I, 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 even, <laughs> even, so it, it was like, you know, when you search in the, you, when you search for the gold or something, mm -hmm. it's, it's for me, it's like that. It's, it's really hard to get. Of course. And I get it and I have one of the boxes in my, and I just uh, put it in my, in my uh, collection. So it was, nice. it was amazing. How many, how many kicks do you have till now? Uh, I don't know. You know, I have Around. to count maybe 300, 350, Damn. maybe 300 yeah. plus. It's huh? a, it's a, with the boot for football and but all overall, the overall. Oh, oh, not, not, not only the sneakers that you wear for the lifestyle or even with the football and stuff. Yeah. That's, I think that's, 300, 350. Damn, that's that's really good numbers, yeah. man. 300. For yeah. me, it's some like only the one ratio, I guess. Well, you have a good collection, <laughs> brother. So one of the OGs you have here. Yeah, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Khalid, let's have a little bit quick break, Kit Kat break, okay. and again, we'll come back. Yeah? Inshallah. Yes, Mr. Khalid, welcome back after the Kit Kat break. Thank you, brother, for the Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. Because normally, you know, the Kit Kat stories comes from my yeah, first yeah. guy. Ah, okay. Uh, but even even the commercial for Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give it break, give it something. Of course, Eat of Kit course. Kat, give it break, something like that. All of it. So I would like to ask about, of course, uh, going back to the cultures. So did you ever uh, fall in line to get the shoes? Uh, yeah, before, yeah. Yeah. When the, like, the, like let's, let's say when the Yeezys was really hype here in UAE, the 350 and even the 700 when it's released especially in good life and a lot of retail uh, shops the the queue was crazy bro we was yeah, we have to come like sometime people sleep and uh, nearby the shop so they can get the first in the line but yeah i get a lot in the line I, yeah. I got a lot of experience when i was working in the good life my goodness the longest queue i think for the easy triple black yeah, I think the so. pirates, the I pirates. Think so. That think that so. was amazing, man. And also yeah. the Pharrells. Pharrells was yeah. hit it a lot. But even sometimes you miss the queue, or you go, let's say, to eat something, come back, finish, <laughs> brother. You have to stay, and you you don't know what to say for the people that stay in the line. If you say something, they think you are lying. So yeah. So how you how you how you feel when? Of course, I mean, all the time. I don't think so. You will get the pair, even you fall in line. Exactly, because you have to go one size up or one size down, or even you get it or you don't get it. It depends on the line and depends on the quantity of the shoes that the sh the, the shops have it. So, right? Yeah. 
So how you feel when you didn't get the shoe? I think for me, I, I'm lucky that I get all the shoes uh, when I stop in the line. I think so. I don't remember any time that I stop in the line. Maybe, maybe, maybe I forgot. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think all the time when I stop in the line, I get the shoes. Uh, get even the shoes. because my 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 shoe size is good. Mm -hmm. Forty half, forty and a half, forty one, forty two. I can't go until 42 and a half, so... You can play around. Yeah, so for me, 41 and a half. I start with 41, my actual size for sure, but some 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 shoes, even you, you have to go to one size up. So for 42 and a half, 42 and 40 and a half, even 40. Mm -hmm. Some some shoes I can't wait it for. Works, so, right. so it's you know, fine. You know, Mr. Khalid, the good things about you, uh, I know a lot of sneaker hates only chasing the hype things. But the good things about you always come in good life. You buy all kind of sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the collaboration and even some sneakers like it's not goes hype, but even it's unique. You like the you colors? Know, I like the colors and even there is no big quant uh, there's no big quantity of these shoes in UAE. Mm -hmm. So if you get it, a lot of people are going to ask about it. So mm -hmm. it's an inspiration. Of course. Yeah. So uh, by coming long journey from your early A's collecting the pairs which one is your favorite brand till now now a lot of shoes in the market man and yeah. a lot of shoes they doing great things uh especially new balance asics but i go with asics man asics is the best right? i love asics and it nobody know about asics like not a lot of people they still with the night for sure nike and adidas is I will not speak about it because it's <laughs> one of the another level, you know, of course, for always. sure, man. They do a lot for sneakers. Still, they do a lot of uh, unique and great collaborations with the, if they go to LV and big brand now, mm -hmm. especially Nike. So, but for me, I love the Japanese things. Okay. I love the Japanese wear. Mm -hmm. I love the Japanese style. Damn. So that's why I go with Essex. Yeah. So did you ever uh, purchase also, I mean, uh, when you, of course, you travel a lot of the countries. So did you ever purchase? A uh, lot, man. A lot. A, a lot, lot, right? A lot. I, I, when, I, when I go to the countries, first things that I search about my sport, what I do, like football and the things what I do with the balls, I search about the places and the committee of these kind of things what I play. Second things, uh, it's the or let's say together, the game what I play, mm -hmm. the games what I play, and even the sneakers. I search about the retail shops and even the vintage uh, jerseys, the vintage the vintage stuff that they have it over there. Mm -hmm. So I sneak out and I go behind the neighborhood and I find the things and I get. Okay. Yeah. So normally, I mean, uh, how much is it okay if you can disclose the amounts? Did you pay any of the resale amounts for the shoe? For what? I, I don't get it. I mean, the resale, suppose normally retail is the good price. Yeah, retail is a good price. Uh, some some shoes I get it with the resale price. Resale for sure, price. man. <laughs> because it's sold out from the the retail shops. So the resellers get all of them. So yeah. what, even even if you go through website or through the authentic applications, it's still, bro, the prices will not be yeah. with the delivery and the shipment and the things and the VATs and the uh, custom things so it will not be even cheap it yeah. will be even expensive yeah i want to add one thing so normally uh, because of course when i was working in the good life so of course even we put the mechanics first come first serve right so people fall in line and then they get the shoes so most of the real lovers some like you who really like to wear the shoes when they are not getting the shoes they really get upset man you yeah. got a lot of uh, you know resellers on the line why you are giving the shoes it's but happened man it's we, happened. we don't have options they follow the mechanics it's you know it's happened yeah it's happened but now they change the rules huh there are a lot of uh, specific rules even with the good life and a lot of uh, retail shops they do it uh, sometime uh, draws sometime raffle, like raffles sometime even uh, a lot of techniques that they they make sure that a lot of people get the the sneakers but still bro sometimes it's fair sometimes not fair it depends yeah. it depends you want to say anything uh, to the resellers uh... oh they're all my friends man <laughs> <laughs> of oh, course no, no. right yeah, of course my friends, yeah. that's also the way of making money you know people of course the yeah. thing, but things is you know what i don't like mr khaled when resellers get the pair okay okay i mean they can wear the shoes and after some time they can sell that's fine but the main thing is man Sometimes they just they buy and take they, everything. They deal they, on the spot, man. They yeah. deal on the spot. That's what I hate, you know. And sometimes they keep another people to wait. Proxies, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they 
you know you're on the market and of you know course. what's happening man that, that's so a tragedy they they stay in the line and let's say three four five people behind them uh-huh. all friends and they stay for them and they give them a commission and man <laughs> for me for me mr khalid you know because basically uh, when i came in dubai it was really uh, new things for me to fall in line and to manage the line and everything at that time i feel like that what's going on what's you know it's not mm-hmm. the diamond it's not the goal because in my country there is not that kind of cultures you know mm-hmm. when i come to know oh my goodness shoes also have the values you know double exactly, up triple yeah, up yeah yeah but now even the the sh- like, let's say the, the dunks and uh, even some yeezys uh, there is no ruffle there is no line it's, you can't find it in the store mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. of the as i say before as i mentioned before A lot of retails here, a lot of retails and, and all eyes in UAE now, all the people, all the investors, all the guys that they live in UAE, so... Yeah, I, I found a lot of times also... And a lot of tourists in UAE and they like course. to buy shoes, a man. A lot, so, a lot. Money yeah. makers. Yeah, so right. they, they Even I find, I find, I find a lot of times, you know, when uh, people fall in line, they come from different country also. Yeah, yeah, someone maybe. Someone come yeah. from India, someone come yeah, from... They are you know, visitors sometimes yeah. and they see the the things in Instagram, the mm. new kicks drop uh, in this kind of location and they just mm. go because a lot of sneakerhead now, they came yeah. to eat and a lot of events, uh, I would like say hi to Shu Boulevard. Uh-huh. The guy Saeed, he do a lot for the sneakers yeah, yeah, yeah. in New York. Shout out to Saeed, of yeah, course. Yeah, Saeed, he, right. he works so hard and... I uh, I meet him a lot of times and he's a really good guy and he works so hard to make uh, to make a sneakers uh, vibes here in UAE mm-hmm. to to let all the people buy the sneakers with the good prices so Said Said uh, shout out to Said. Yeah, Said So normally I found you I mean normally you came alone most of the time Yeah as I say uh, before I I I I like to get the sneakers and stuff but I don't know a lot of people in the in this uh, committee, committee, yeah, committee. Okay. so after i know the guys and yeah now we we deal together <laughs> <laughs> but even uh, because even l- let's say before there's no social media correct uh, instagram okay we have instagram since 2013 2014 but it's not work as it, it is now mm-hmm. even snapchat mm-hmm. uh, so nobody knows uh, and they don't post a lot to be honest for my shoes i don't i don't post a lot so After that, um, the days we meet in the events and stuff, and yeah, now we are together, right? we are friends. Yeah. So now there's something dropped, they text me, I text them, it depends, you know. Okay. Why? So what what is the temptations uh, you fall in love uh, with the sneakers? What kind of craze you, you, you know, something like, you, you have a hunger to get the, whenever the collab comes or something like, you know, the beautiful limited editions. What kind of things attract? Uh, I think, I think the color. The uh-huh. colors and even some of the shoes now it's remind me of the old days. Now they do a lot of vintage, vintage things, and it's Retro, remind yeah. exactly it's remind me when I was kid. So that's things that attract me a lot to get the shoes and and nowadays with the collaboration, even that each shoes have a story of the of the guy that he do the shoes, and that's what I love also. Uh-huh. Uh, the shoes have a story, like let's say the last Essex. Uh, the last essex is dropped with i think collab with ariel ariel uh, ariel also yeah yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. also did one collab and there are a lot of actually a yeah. lot a lot so mm. it's, it's, there's a story from the colorway from the things like let's say even the nike nike uh, habibi dunk of the course. sbs you Beautiful can story. see the flags of uae the culture the 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 woman wears the abaya and the man wear the kandora the ghatra the the, the laces is made from the the arabic things that we wear it in mm. like our uh, our official uh, jobs it's like the ghatra so mm. it's you need it's like something unique and tell the stories and not only the habibi the, a lot of shoes a lot of shoes tell a lot of stories of course of no? course so that's yeah. that's the, of course that's the beautiful stories yeah. attached and to the shoes, last, uh, right? why why i speak about the asics because this is the last shoes what i get like two days ago <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i saw your post yeah actually. yeah <laughs> it's a collab with the ariel i think ariel, it's called yeah, ariel. Yeah, yeah. so and i saw the story in youtube mm-hmm. it's crazy man it's time to yeah think. yeah it's crazy so all of your shoes uh, normally you're able to wear it or no, to case? be honest uh some shoes i just keep it until today i don't wear it i i try to find the special or specific moment to wear it but mm-hmm. maybe i keep it just to keep it clean uh-huh. and keep it for uh 
for a long time uh, as a view of my room. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, you know, so I'm like, when my first series will finish, because I have a target. Once I'm done with the 50 episodes of my podcast, I will go to the second series. Inshallah, when the second series come, I would like to do it in your place, man. Okay, podcast. for sure, for sure. I have a good location. We can put the things there. Of course, of up, course. Set up the things. And we can when, do I, when you say me, of course, I already tempted. Oh, yeah. Mr. Khaled place with yeah, yeah, the bombastic yeah, yeah. because place, we have right? the shoes background and mm -hmm. yeah we can do one time why yeah. not <laughs> so um okay let's talk about uh, the dubai also of course the ua you are from the ua right uh, we already talked a lot about the sneakers so let's go also because my channel name is the common life we also need to talk about the common things as well because most of the people viewers they are not everyone knows about the sneakers yeah 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 so yeah. i also like to add uh, the uae things of course uh, even i'm not from the uae i feel blessed i'm here already 11 years so how do you feel yourself you are the residents of sure, my brother this is my country and alhamdulillah i'm uh, i'm i'm happy and i'm lucky that i born and get raised here in uae uae is the safest country in the world and a lot of people now visit uae because of that and you can see the facilities here, alhamdulillah, our highnesses and the government give, uh, give us a lot of things and alhamdulillah, we are really lucky, we are really lucky to live in this country. Of course, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, all the people who come from different countries, they got employment, they got a exactly. beautiful facilities exactly. at the same time, safety and all. Exactly. Even the, my, the, the first thing is safety, you know. Even my sisters, my brothers, they are in the US, when we had a chat with uh, my family, in the US, they said Dubai is one of the safest. Yeah, but and even now, one of the first countries, a lot of uh, tourists visit UAE because of that. You can maybe, I will not say, but maybe maybe UAE number one of uh, attracting uh, the tourists now here. Yeah. Completely agree. Yeah, so Completely agree. Alhamdulillah, we are lucky to have this country and the highnesses and the government. So, mm. Alhamdulillah, we have to say Alhamdulillah always. Always, always. Yeah. So, you know, any other languages, I mean, because there are a lot of people from different countries here. Most of the uh, local, they speak <coughs> Urdu. Uh, I, for sure, uh, I, I, I learn or I understand a little bit, but uh, I cannot speak it like hundred percent. Okay. Uh, for sure, English is my second language. Yeah, my first yeah. language is Arabic, and I speak Spanish as a third language. Really? Yeah, yeah. I my study goodness. Spanish after I graduate uh, from the university. Mm -hmm. uh, I was building my house, and uh, yeah. So I to continue to continue in uh, master degree. I because I have bachelor. It's like uh, you need a budget to pay. Okay. So I put the budget for building my own house mm -hmm. and uh, I start learning uh, another language. So the budget is lower. Mm -hmm. So uh, I study Spanish for, uh, let's say, for three years in one uh, institute here in UAE. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Alhamdulillah, I speak, I speak around 60%. Let's that, say that's, that's 50, nice. I will not say 100%, uh -huh. but I understand a lot of things now in Spanish. So, and I have a lot of uh, friends because of the game, what I play, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Spain community, uh, uh, let's not, 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 the, not the Spain only, the Latinos, Latinos, okay. the South America communities mm -hmm. and even the Spain, they play these kind of games. So they speak with me a lot of uh, Spanish language and even I heard the, the words like uh, always when I play mm -hmm. since like, let's say 10 years, mm -hmm. that's why the words stuck in my head. And even when I study, uh, my level was good because I know the words before. And yeah, I study the grammars and the things. And uh, yeah, I Damn. pass, I pass. I think uh, there is a levels, uh, start with the A1, something like that in the institute. So I pass the A1, A2, A3 like this. Mm. So I continue with them for three years and alhamdulillah, I get the certificate even. That's, that's great. Yeah. So I want to go a little bit deep inside. Uh, so uh, I think uh, you are still single, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when is the plan to get married? Inshallah, inshallah. Maybe yeah. within this year or <laughs> next year. Yeah, why not? Of course, of inshallah. course. I always, always uh, wish you all the best. Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah. This, is, this is life. You have to get a wife yeah. and uh, build a family. Of course. So, Need to be. Yeah, yeah. Right? This is life. So still you are the bachelor enjoying the life. <laughs> I'd say that, yeah. <laughs> So, Mr. Khalid, uh, of course, we already come at the end of the movement. So, you have anything to add uh, by my podcast to the viewers? Uh, as I mentioned, thanks for everything, man. Uh, it's my pleasure to sit with you. One of the 
guys that uh, teach me a lot f- uh, for the sneakers even and yeah, uh, yeah i'm lucky to know you mm-hmm. and i know you uh, let's say since 2017 yeah 2017 and you teach me a lot about the sneakers <laughs> thank and you, thank yeah thanks actually uh, i i like to shout out to the good life uh, yeah uh, they they before in the good life we meet a lot of great people over there mm-hmm. until today until, until today, today yeah. until today I mean, good life taught me a lot i mean yeah. till now what i got the positions uh, my confident my talking skills about the sneaker cultures and my personal so one, one, one of the first even retail shops i will not Correct. say the first but one of the first one retail of the shop first. In, one of the first. in dubai yeah so yeah and i would like to say it for the people that uh, keep going and never give up and yeah uh tr- uh try to do the sport what do you love and for sure family first and uh, keep going always keep going keep going right yeah, yeah. thank you uh, mr khalid uh first of all i always you know some like big respect for you and then Thanks, thank brother. you you comes with my invitations you know in my small uh, studio no no bro it's a <laughs> reminder of the people can see the studio each pair is remind you of something flashback yeah OGs, or, right? yeah a lot of ogs here yeah air maxes <laughs> yeah air maxes 90 97 97 uh, this is the best s6 I, of man <laughs> cannot speak no words 97 right yeah okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoons. and a lot of uh, ogs adidas <laughs> man <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy i love the vibes even as you say it's not small it's uh, small but uh, the the meanings is big powerful yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i love the setup man of course thank you mr khalid and Welcome, wish you all brother. the best uh, thanks, for the brother. futures thanks brother. i would like to see you of course with the full of energies in your place in second series inshallah and you will see me for sure on instagram with the freestyle uh, things always, uh, always, yeah, always. and the commercial or something like that so <laughs> I'm still with that uh, things. Yeah. So guys, peace out. Once again, thank you very thank much. You. Right? Thank you. Thank you, brother.